Now, although we've talked conceptually about how to find a weighted mean or average for the interest rates of the Loan 50 data set, um, your textbook gives a formula for finding the weighted mean numerically, as well as two other quantities, the variance and standard deviation, which are all important quantities associated with a two-dimensional view of data. I want to go ahead and take a moment to show how to find those same quantities using our guru. So I'm going to left click on data, left click on this functions button and select summary statistic from the menu. I then come over here and I select loan 50 as my data set. I left click in the search box for numerical and I'm going to start typing in interest, which is the variable I'm interested in. And then over here on the right of this dialog box that we're in the middle of, um, I see that I can select a whole bunch of different statistics. Now I'm going to leave the count checked. I'm going to uncheck minimum, median, maximum, uncheck the two quartiles, leave the mean checked, leave the standard deviation checked, and check the variance checkbox. And then I'm going to select the preview button by left clicking on that. Left click on this plus box in order to see the uh, statistics that we were interested in. 50, of course, is how many data values we have. The mean value uh, matches what we saw conceptually. It's approximately 11%. Actually, it's 11 and 567 thousandths percent. And then the standard deviation is 5 and 521 ten thousandths percent. The mean is what we call a measure of center. The standard deviation, which we will discuss a little bit later, is what we call a measure of spread when we're looking at two-dimensional views of data. And that completes our look at how to use our guru to find these important two-dimensional uh, statistics for the interest rate variable in the Loan 50 data set.